Hey everybody, Lou with Bergen Pickers here, and today we're covering episode one of our vintage toy haul. Uh, so what we do is we're going to cover um, our recent pickups and exactly what we picked up today. So it's going to be raw, unedited, and as we picked up the items, we're going to show you right now on video uh, what it was that we got on this pick. Um, so here we have a character um, that belonged to the uh, $6 million man. Uh, toy line. Um, I forget exactly who this is, but I think it's one of the main characters of the show. And he came with an accessory. I think he came with this right here. There you go. It's like the briefcase, and it's a it's an exploding briefcase. I forget exactly how you do this, but if you pull on, oh, it tells you right there. It says turn. I think it just blows up. But maybe it doesn't. It comes apart. There you go. Alright, so we'll turn that. Okay, so that's one of them. Oh, there it goes. That just went bananas. Okay. Uh, yeah, this guy's living behind some residue. Yeah, his pantalones are not in great shape. Alright, but we're gonna move him along. At least he's not missing any limbs. So that's good. Whoa, buddy. That's embarrassing. Okay, moving along. And there he is, Lee Majors. Uh, that's the actor's name as uh, a six million dollar man. And for some reason, well, I never watched the show, but I'm assuming uh, this accessory, which is actually um, an engine, I guess it's to prove that how you know how strong he was. That was one of the accessories that he came with. Um, he's missing a hand. Okay, face, there we go. Yeah, that kind of looks like Lee Majors. Alright. Let's turn around. The shoes are there. Good. Cool. Alright, so part of the same lot. We got Lee Majors, six million dollar man. Hmm. I'm guessing something's supposed to spark. And just by the look of it, I'm guessing it's probably his eye. Anyways, not sure. Doesn't matter. Let's move on. Ooh, gotta clean this up. Alright. Nope. Can anybody guess what this is? Yep. That's Slave 1. Uh, Star Wars. So original Kenner toy. There you go. I always like picking up Star Wars toys. And I might as well look at the inside. I like picking up Star Wars toys because they clean up really well. Um, and now when I say clean up, I'm not talking about using any chemicals or anything like that. I'm just talking about, you know, getting rid of the dust. Um, before we sell it. Let's see what Check that again. There we go. That's functional. Cool. All right, let's pop this uh, side door back in. Good. Um, I'd say it's in pretty good shape. Um, not excellent because of the decals, the stickers. Obviously, there's plenty of wear to it, uh, but definitely in good to very good condition. Okay, that's not broken. Nothing's really broken. It's just some uh, discoloration and then some dirt. But that's again some light cleaning around the decals, um, and that's what we do. You never want to replace anything. Like we don't replace parts. Um, we don't really touch the decals. We don't get replica decals. I'm not a fan of anything that's not original to the toy. So, yeah, let's move on. Alright, so that was Star Wars Kenner, uh, Slave 1. Then we picked up some of some characters that, frankly, I have no idea who they are. Now, this reminds me a little bit more of, like, 80s toys. I'm looking for some distinguishing marks that might be able to tell me who the manufacturer is. Uh, I really don't see it on this guy. He's got wheels that look right back here. Hmm, interesting. Well, 
I'll place them over there. There we go. Then this dude. No idea. Well, let's see. Oh, there we got something. 1983 Filmation Associates. You guys see that? Right there. Okay. Reminds me of the uh, Thundercats figures. Oh, it kind of has the um, He-Man plastic. See that right there? Okay. Oh, we got this guy right here. So if you guys know who these characters are, if they even belong together or from the same toy line, leave us a comment below just to uh, let us know who these guys are. Alright, <clears throat> moving on. So, what are these? No idea, but they'll look cool. So we picked them up. I mean, it was a toy lot, somebody wanted to sell, we bought. There we go. And what does it say here? 1987 Hasbro, Takara, 1987. So, <coughs> excuse me, these are the same manufacturers, Hasbro and Takara, that made the uh, Transformer toys. And they sternly, uh, excuse me, currently still make Transformer toys. So, I wonder if this is Transformer related. I don't recognize it, especially not Generation 1. I might be wrong because they did have some. Um, off the wall toys towards the end of the line, but I don't think these are. Anyways, if you know who these belong to, they even kind of look like Power Rangers. Um, let me know below. Moving on. Back to Star Wars. All right, so we got the. Cruiser, and this, this is, uh, what does it say, General Mills Fun Group, Inc., 1978. So, oh, I'm trying to feel this. Okay, it's cold to the touch. So, this is die cast with a plastic body, plastic wheels. Looks like it's missing the windshield there. But still pretty cool. Paint is all there, for the most part. I'd say, mm -hmm, probably 90% of the paint is still there. Still in good condition, still a very nice display piece. C3PO and Luke are there. The front's a little beat up. But um, Star Wars related, so I'll always pick it up. Oh, let's see. All right. Oh, here we go, baby. I got these Ziploc bags. You love it when people put them together in Ziploc bags. At least they're already grouped. Let's open these guys up. Who do we got here? Ghostbusters! Who are you gonna call? Scares me things! Alright. It looks like we gotta have all four original characters right here. Yep. So. And the Egon. There we go. So we don't have the Proton Packs. They're not present. Um, but we do have some ghosts. Hold on a second. Let me just read up what's in the back. It's 1984 Columbia Pictures. That's the uh, mark on there. Cool. Hey, yeah, I remember playing with these guys. All right. And we have some ghosts. Now, each one of the figures came with one of these ghosts. Not exactly sure which one belongs to which. Um, but that'll be sorted out. These are pretty cool. Almost like finger puppets, actually. This one is like a finger puppet. All right, moving on. Dino Crisis. Doesn't look like it belongs to Ghostbusters. I mean, it's a similar theme, same theme there. It's a monster-ish, but not, not see-through like the other ones. So let's pop these guys back in the bag. After they get dusted, they're going to become inventory. Let's move on. So these guys are still huge today. As a matter of fact, probably one of the longest running toy lines out there, I would say. Um, we have Master Splinter. Looks way different than he does now on TV, right? Um, one of the original figures. As a matter of fact, this is the original uh, Splinter figure. Okay. And what does it say there? Whoop, sorry guys. Bumped you right in the noggin. 1988, it says Mirage Studios, Playmates Toys. Yeah, so Playmates are the uh, company that released these figures originally. I think this is probably Series 2, Series 3, this guy right here. 
And obviously they came with um, lots of accessories and weapons. His arm is a little loose, so he's he's in played with condition like most are. Um, toys that are in really good shape, especially action figures, the arms are harder to move. This one is fine. This one's a little loose. Let's move on. As my son would say, Robot Turtle. Yes. Donatello's creation, I believe. Um, but there he is. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, you can see his brains right there. All right. So we got one of these guys. We got Leonardo. She's pretty much the leader of um, our for foursome. Pretty good shape, actually. Dog didn't get to it. Nothing's melted. Colors are strong. Got little, some rubbing, some rub marks on it. So it's a, this is very good to excellent. Um, so here, here's a little tidbit about the Ninja Turtles. The very first Turtles release, so kind of the ones that were put out there that were tested, and probably the most valuable ones, loose or carded, are the Turtles with the squishy heads. These are not squishy. See how they're kind of like hard-headed? Um, if they're squishy heads, so if they squish in, hold on to them, um, contact us, or you know, hold on to them because they're worth quite a bit more. Raphael, the one with the temper. There we go, also in good condition. And 1988 Mora Studios Playmates Toys. Okay, same thing, let's move on. You gotta stop the Krang! Oh, there it is. Krang himself. Come on, that was a pretty good impression. All right, we got one of the katanas. Belongs to Leo. And there's Mikey. Wait, hold on a second. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. That looks red. That looks red. Slightly brighter dark red so I'm guessing this is orange nope not a squishy head not a squishy All right. um Michelangelo also shorter I think nope same size moving on Donatello uh, this was my favorite character by far um, I was always kind of a, like a techie nerdy kind of guy and Donatello was just right up my alley. He was the guy that knew how to handle himself around computers and technology. Just the brains of the operation, really. Um, the figure itself has got a little bit of bleed through. His eyes are supposed to be white. At some point in time, something bled through, I guess on the color, maybe through storage. And they're slightly colored purple. Moving on. we got a Psy. Boop! Raphael's weapon. Um, I believe it came with two. They also came with... Um, some shuriken, which are throwing stars. This is a weapon I don't remember any of the turtles actually using in the animated series or the movies, um, but they came with some of the toys. Then we got a foot soldier. Yeah, this guy looks much different than, again, the TV show nowadays, um, what the kids are used to now. But I thought it was cool because his limbs articulated this way. Um... Pretty cool figure to have overall. Kind of reminds me more of a zombie than anything else. But, very nice. Moving on. Oh, uh, we got like a little vehicle accessory right here. This is like a, a sewer tube. Doesn't look complete to me. But the decals are there. That's nice. Still cool. Alright, moving on to the next thing. Almost uh, towards the end of our current haul. Them in there carefully to be dusted and cleaned. All right. Now this is probably one of the toys that the most popular in the eighties, and none other than uh, Transformers Generation One. Um, now, I don't have all the names down, guys. I really don't. I never really played with these toys when I was younger. I was a Masters of the Universe guy. Uh, Mask, if you're familiar with those. 
Um, so Transformers, even though I had a few, were never really my forte. So don't blame me for not knowing any of their names, but I just want to kind of show you what we picked up here today. Um, as a matter of fact, if you can help, just leave the names below. The tank. So yeah, they came in various difficulties, you know, some of the larger figures. I'm not sure if this is actually a Transformer. Um, in various building difficulties. So the larger figures had more to them. They also came with some smaller uh, Transformers. I think they're called, oh jeez, Masterheads? Headmasters, Headmasters. You know, and then some of them you could combine into larger figures. Pretty good shape, actually. This one's got some die-cast metal, uh, as well as this guy. So I think those are the earlier figures, the ones with the die-cast metal. Now this does not look like Transformers. This might be GoBots. What does this say? 1985 Upright Manufacturing Inc. Patent pending. Hmm, interesting. Not a Transformer. Definitely in the robot category, though. Not one of those funky looking bots. No idea what these are. Hey, let, let us know. If you recognize these, let us know below what these are. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Top spin! Yes, this is top spin. I think I had one of these. Cool. What does it say on the bottom there? Oops, switch it over. We got Takara, 1984, made in Taiwan. With some Asian lettering there. Um, and I do believe it's Japanese lettering. This is uh, made of die cast. Flip and open. And I believe this is a GoBot, not a Transformer. Uh, Blue Box, made in Macau, 1984, Blue Box toy. Blue Box toys, let me think about this for a second. I think they make some high-end toys now. Um, some, some collectible figurines that you can display. I think they made the legacy of Kane toys as well. Um, in the late 90s when, for the video games. Anyways. So yeah, um, we've got some transforming toys. Some of them are original Transformers G1, so Generation 1. Then some of these are knockoffs or uh, GoBots. Um, if you recognize any of these or have any names to um, any of them, leave us uh, some comments below. Uh, help us out. But yeah, this has been uh, Lou with Bergen Pickers. This was our first toy haul. Uh, keep coming back. We release these videos at least on a weekly basis. Uh, try doing some daily. Um, as we get toys in and comic books in and other things in, uh, we release these videos. So please subscribe to us. We have uh, constant fresh content and uh, like our videos. Thank you very much. And I uh, hope you